Hi. Hi, Paul. I hope. Is there anything you'd like to speak to us about today? I hope... I hope you like to say... Why... Why I've been using agencies... For... 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 For personal assistance to to help me with my working environment, they seem they seem to they seem to have. They seem to have very, very little understanding of the, of what we, of what I would call the social model, the, 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 the social model of disability. And and um and they seem to and I still think they they, they seem to see disabled people in terms of the in terms of our particular impairments, and I, I, I just think that I just think that I didn't see should I didn't see should pay more attention to the whole person. I know, I know that, I know just about what, what happens, to, happens to be a disability or impairment. Paul, yeah. do you see this as an issue with training? Yeah. Yes, yes, I do. Isn't it also something to do with contracts? Which one? Contracts. If you're going to employ someone to be your assistant, do you not feel that it's necessary for that contract to have some information about it, uh, about your expectations in it? Um. Yes, I, yes, I do. Well, yes, I do. Well, when you want, when, when you are, when you are employed, people, People on a one-to-one -one basis. I will. <coughs> I think that it is. I think. I, I, I think. I think that it is. Imp important for. Something to be written in about the about the social model of disability. I like and I I and something about the touch the the touch and the responsibilities. Thank you very much, Paul.